I slipped back and savoured the atmosphere. I land in Holly Hedge and let out a sigh of relief. Because I am weary after the long journey. I begin to wonder what is worth it. Eventually the ship dropped in Holly Hedge and we departed for Dubai. Well, it's such a breeze, and it made that sight that I see every day. Down at the valley, the rest of the and the rear floor is closed extreme. Business in Ballyferno was a bit slow. The functions that grew on excessively have increased the cash flow. Other for the house near the front is so sharp. This is called Behind the Scenes. Brown hands quietly broom away dust with slim fingers polish unfamiliar bathroom taps. Smooth bleached cotton bed linen attentively to maintain a photographed illusion which appears unpeopled. Here's to all we used to be. Who cares now anyhow? I'll drink to you. I'll drink to us. I'll drink. I'm drunk. Hooray. <laughs> my reaction to finding a small black and white photograph of my sister and I when we were three and one and a half, <clears throat> it's called Snapped. I asked after her when she had gone, could not take on board talk of a ship from Lauren to Haitian. <coughs> I took such care of my toys, dreading their going to London too. I hate bait any man under the table. Red-faced, hot-tongued, evil-tempered, beer-bellied, shirt thrown open to expose a swell of hairy chest, growling, grinding what teeth he had left. Come on, ye shower of small farmers. There's not one of ye bastards fit to lick this tony. There are many deserted cottages throughout Ireland, and in this poem, one of these cottages speaks. Ruined cottage. Here I stand with head well bent. I've had my day. It's time I went. I once was young. Come on, come on, he pulled her forward. We have to keep going. Where? Where are we going? Where is there to go to? I want to go home. Home, he sneered. You want to go home. Don't we all? <coughs> you didn't appreciate it when you had it. You threw it all away. And for what, Eve? One red apple. On the bed was a suitcase, half packed with folded clothes, talc powder, curlers. It was a classic Alzheimer's symptom to want to return to her childhood home. How her mind had tricked her. A short poem that I wrote for my mother, and I wondered why I called it a tribute to a lady. But then I remembered she'd tried for 21 years to make one out of me. I think it was her only failing. So this is her, her smile like a breeze, pushing dark clouds from the sky. Now, when each family problem arises, she reaches right down into her heart. Years fall away as I cross the threshold to Mother's kitchen. There's love to my mum. I will treasure you always in my heart. Love for all. It's called Eggplant. Hanging alone in the late September green of its own vines, the eggplant looks familiar. Why, it's my womb, bruised purple, and upside down, suspended. This is called From Here to New York. It was written on an anniversary of 9-11. A familiar breeze returns. It carries from the west memories of a day that dissolved into myth, into vapor. Today I'm clear-headed, awake to the warm gusts blowing across the valley, the speckled butterfly settled on a lingering wildflower. The frenzied fly obsessing at my feet. The huddle of unpicked blackberries beyond the gate. A sense of a sudden surge of activity among small things as they hurtle towards their own apocalypse. Trekking in the wee small hours of the morning. Guessing that it was only around 7 a.m. at this stage, I had to wait around until, the, until some trustworthy person came in sight. This was the scariest experience of my young life, never to be forgotten. Self-preservation and instinct were the triggers of the fear. So what about the trusting children of today who lack these instincts, instincts 
then that thought is scarier still. I'd like to read four haikus. Pink apple blossom drifts, scenting the forbidden garden. Past and present mingle. Fern fawns, bamboo chimes, moonlight reflections on pond, silver apple blossoms.